We left the Chapari Lodge in the morning to embark on a long journey clear across the Andes Mountain to our next destination, the Wembo Reserve, home to my favorite hummingbird, the marvelous spatchel tail. We encountered a traffic jam and any progress forward had gone down to a crawl. There was a landslide which made the road passable by only one slow going car at a time. We had to wait hours to get through this area. You can see by the drone footage that the ground above the landslide is very unstable and could close this road completely with another rainstorm. Well, we stopped at a gas station and uh, we're stopping for a little snack. We were a bit delayed in our drive to get to Wembo today by a landslide that people were digging out. And I think there was another accident earlier too. So we're just plugging along, trying to get there. <laughs> Well, it's 2 a.m. and we've finally reached the Wembo Lodge. Two landslides could not keep us away. And all I could say is, honey, I'm home! <laughs> Ten more minutes for, for energy, okay? okay. After having breakfast at Wembo, we left to see another place in the area where the marvelous spatchel tail was coming to the feeders. The place is called Vista Florida, and you had to take a little hike to get up to the area where the feeders were. The marvelous spatchel tail was here sipping from the homemade recycled soda bottle feeders. Isn't this a great way to recycle plastic? It had been two years since I saw the marvelous spatchel tail, and this is my favorite hummingbird in the world. I was thrilled to be back in the area. William Oriana even caught a brief display of a male trying to entice a female. Another hummingbird frequenting these feeders is the beautiful long-tailed sylph. We first photographed this bird on our very first trip to Peru back in 2018. This bird is very similar to the violet-tailed sylph that you can see on the live Ecuador cam, with only a little difference in the tail color. The tails can grow very long on the males, and the females favor males with longer tails. The highly aggressive chestnut-breasted coronet was here too. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with these birds. They're so pretty, but they're usually chasing away the bird I'm trying to photograph. There were several white-bellied hummingbirds. These birds are almost identical to the endemic green and white hummingbird. The only difference is the white extends a bit further down the tail in the white-bellied hummingbird, so you have to look carefully to make sure you know which bird you're watching. And these indeed were white-bellied hummingbirds. 
William got some video of the stunning emerald-bellied puffleg, which we also photographed on our very first visit to Peru. But I don't even remember seeing this one here, so I must have been off chasing another bird when he was filming this one. A female booted racket tail enjoyed sipping nectar from the verbena that was planted on the property. You can't see it well as it's more pronounced in the male, but she does have little orange puffs on her ankles.